want to create a custom AI model that actually looks like your character or subject with LoRa training and Comfy UI. In this video, I'll walk you through the full process from prepping a dataset to training and using your own LoRa model inside Comfy UI for free. Whether you're building a realistic portrait or styling character, this is the ultimate way to take control of your AI generation. So let's get started on this video. As you can see right over here, this is the data step. First, you need to collect all the photos and everything. So in this video, I have collected 49 photos. You can do in 20 or 30 photos as well. So copy, make a file over here and copy a path. Then this is the workflow of the data set. Uh, just copy this workflow in your comfy UI and paste the link that we copied right over here and remove the brackets or the commas and over here you have to make another folder called it anything and just copy that path and paste in the upper and the lower node and as you can see you will get the prompts of all the images that you have uh, saved okay so now as you can see i have done 49 photos so i get all the 49 prompts over here and it's saved in the new folder that we created okay over here and here and remove the colons in the start and the end of the link see copy this and paste it over here okay and remove the colons I have already removed it and over here as well. And this is the Florence. So this more this model helps with the uh, prom generation. So this is the step one of making your own LoRa. So as you can see, and now we go to Comfy UI models. And then go to LLM and as you can see Florence to base. If you don't have Florence, you can download it manually from Hugging Face website or just replace this node to download Florence model. So it will automatically download the model. So as you can see, that's done. I've done I already have the Florence. That's why I'm not do doing that. So this is the Hugging Face website. So this is the Florence 2 model. You can download everything right over here and put it in the LLM folder that I showed you earlier. Okay. Like this. So it will download and then you can use it. So now I'll show you the folder. So this is the new folder that we created and paste. Everything happened over here. So let me show you so this is the files so as you can see we got the text as well so that worked the florence hole so as you can see the image shows a young lady sitting on a wooden bench with a coconut okay young lady with a coconut so the step one is done successfully as you can see right over here so this is the new workflow for training your SDXL LoRa. Okay. As you can see, it gave me a lot of errors at first, but I just clicked on, clicked on run. So this was giving me uh, not enough VRAM. You can do it uh, in 8 GB of VRAM. I did this in 8 GB of VRAM. Okay. So as you can see, there are four training nodes so we'll adjust it according to the steps that we are training so in this video i am doing 1000 steps and it took me around 8 9 2 5 seconds so it took me around a lot of time around 3 hours or 4 hours even okay so this you can see 
so you get four files one five two fifty but I deleted that so five hundred seven fifty and one thousand steps okay so you can use any one of this but the one thousand one will obviously be better because it's the most most steps that we did in training so now I'm gonna save this workflow and paste it in the uh, description of the video okay now I'll tell you the main thing you have to do to do this so this is the main part so leave everything the same just the input name change to whatever input or trigger word you want right over here so this node train data set you have to choose the within the height so you can use this or 10 by 24 10 by 24 if you have higher vran i have 8 gb of vran that's why i did this one so as you can see this is the second attempt of me doing this and this one was successful the previous one was not that great but it did happen so it's going to take a lot of time to do this if you have a low VRAM but you can do it in a low VRAM uh, PC so as you can see I've put the uh, LoRa that we made right over here and now let's test it out that if it's working or not as you can see this is 1000 step Zaya so the trigger word I chose for the second training was Zaya so Zaya wearing a blue dress and you can see the prompt so this is a basic workflow so as you can see this is what we got uh, I'll compare though so you can use uh, other LoRa's as well to get a better result but this is just a basic workflow to show you guys that it's working and this is the model that we trained and this it looks pretty similar as you can see obviously a little bit different but still similar if you you can do 2000 steps as well or 1500 but it will take much more time so as you can see looks similar very similar okay see so I'll generate one or two more photos with the same LoRa but let's change something uh, I'll keep the prompt 90% uh, the same uh, I'll just edit I'll remove this pink dress and right pink dress sorry so as you can see this is what we got we're not checking out the whole we just seeing the face we can make a better better photo with this but this is just a basic workflow for showing us okay so now I'll make another photo for you guys so I'll remove all this sorry not remove I'll add all this and as you can see this is the bowl that we got it looks pretty similar as you can see this all the three photos are basically the same okay see so now let's end this video right over here if you guys like this video then do please like comment and subscribe on our channel that would be much appreciated 